A whirlwind week in Pullman might be putting it lightly. All the conversations surrounding WSU has been centered on off the field issues between various run ins with the law and public tongue lashings from their head coach. The Cougs have been front and center for all the wrong reasons, but today a chance to get back to business and finally get in the win column. Cougs 0-2 after losses to Eastern and Boise Vandals. Fresh off a of pounding from the Huskies. First half, Coug offense took a little while to get going, but plays like this sure help jumpstart things. Luke Falk extending the play and hitting Kyle Sweet, who's tripped up just inside the five. James Williams ran for 126 today. Here's his touchdown. Cougs up 7-3. Big time turning point in this one. Vandals looking for the field goal. It's blocked by Robert Barber playing as he appeals his expulsion. Marcellus Pippins with the scoop and the score. 72 yards to the promised land. Later in the second, just throw it up to nine. Gabe Marks, eight yard TD grab. Blackjack for the Cougs. Second half, the onslaught continues. Luke Falk to Kyle Sweet. Pylon seeking and Pylon Finding is the Cougs run away and hide in this one. The final score, 56 to 6 from Martin Stadium. The Cougs are on the board behind a 228-yard performance on the ground, while Luke Falk throws for 226 and three scores. It took him a few weeks longer than we anticipated, but WSU finally earning win number one. Our Sarah Wheeler in Pullman to take this one in, and Sarah. After a tumultuous week, you, you got to think this one feels pretty good for WSU. Yeah, that was kind of the theme in the locker room, Will, afterwards. These guys just relaxed, relieved, happy to finally get off the schneid. The conditions today it was certainly not what WSU is used to, used to succeeding in, at least with the air raid. So going to the ground raid instead, you mentioned it, 226 yards rushing, the most ever under head coach Mike Leach, as the Cougs beat the Vandals for the ninth straight time. Afterwards, Leach, well, pumped up as he can be that his guys finally got the job done. You know, we, we played better, you know, and that's the sole evaluation of any of it. Did you, did you, play, did you play hard? You know, how well did you play? We, we played better. We played hard. Uh, we played sloppy. Uh, and then we got in a rhythm on all three sides simultaneously. So that portion, we just need to be able to magnify it for four quarters. What really killed us was that field goal block. You know, we drove down there. That would have made the game 7-6. to six. So we kind of set up two of their, their uh, early touchdowns offensively or special teams, and, and that, that catches up to you when you're, playing a, when you're playing a team like that. Also of note here today, Will, head coach Mike Leach and Paul Petrino not shaking hands afterwards. The last time they played, kind of going at it. Those guys didn't find each other. Coach Leach saying, though, he does wish Petrino the best the rest of the way here. The Cougs, not going to get any easier for them, though. They're off next week before playing a team, Will, you're kind of familiar with. The University of Oregon in two weeks as they kick off a Pac-12 conference play. Covering the Cougs in Pullman, I'm Sarah Wheeler, KXOY4 Sports. Thank you, Sarah. We're really looking forward to that handshake. Would have been some great video, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait for the next match.